offense has been really clicking these last two games against Kentucky and then tonight. And then defensively, you, your three-point defense and overall field goal defense compared to the last LSU game was much better. What are your thoughts on those? Yeah, I thought, um, you know, offensively we're playing at a at a high level, the 18 assists. Um, a lot of guys were playing, um, running offense through, obviously, um, L plays a lot of point, but we also played – um, T market at a lot of point tonight and, and he had, uh, you know, five assists and L had four. So nine between them. And I, I thought, um, you know, JD Davenport, his, uh, ball distribution, especially when they went zone and, and we stuck him in the middle of the zone. He did a good job of finding people, um, that probably I'm assuming is his, uh, season high, um, uh, with the four assists. So the 18 assists on the 31 baskets, we're doing a great job of, our shot selection, um, you know, we're, we're even the, the threes that we miss for the most part are are high quality shots, and it's 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 just you know it's, it's in this league it's hard to score a lot of points, but offensively, um, you know, we are scoring at a high clip, and our team is our team has gotten better. I know that you know we played really poorly for an eight and a half minute stretch against uh, Vanderbilt, but but other than that. Um, you know, even some of the games that we've lost, Mississippi State, Kentucky, uh, two road games, two road environments. Uh, this basketball team is is playing as good, if not better, than at any time all season. Um, and and that's you know what you what you want a team to do is improve. And fifty two points in the in the second half tonight is it's a that's a lot of points uh, to score. So scoring the ball, understanding offensive schemes and such. Uh, you know, we've really, we've really improved in, in that manner. Transition game and the running game kicked into another gear too. That looked really crisp tonight. Yeah. It's just, just guys are running the lanes a lot harder. It's, it's, it's something that we've, you know, talked about, um, you know, even our big guys are, are, are talking about running more, um, you know, when they get a clean defensive rebound, you know, when you, when you get a rebound and, and it's clean and you can get it to an outlet pass. And, you know, that's, um, you know, areas that we've, we've always wanted to be, a, a, you know, a running team. And, and this team right now is, is sharing the ball in transition. They're getting the spots a little bit quicker than we did earlier in the year. Um, I thought our, our Kentucky game was, you know, maybe as good an offensive game um, since, since I've been a part of, of, of Arkansas the last five years, I thought that, um, you know, we ran the floor super, super hard, did a great job drawing free throws, took threes at the right time. And then, and then obviously with the way that, you know, KB is playing, um, you know, there's not many players in the history of the SEC that have gone on a scoring, you know, spurt like, like KB has and, and, uh, and he's defending better. He's defensive rebounding better. Um, and so I think all those things factor into why we were, we're playing really good offensively and, and Makai was, was dominant inside. We had a game plan to, to try to stop Will Baker. Obviously he, uh, he hurt us. Uh, we changed up our coverages and, uh, I, th I thought we did a great job taking him out of the game. He only had one field goal. Um, and certainly that was a, that was a major issue for us, um, in Baton Rouge. Yeah, Erica, there were a lot of possessions tonight where Makai just kind of got some easy buckets on that high pick and roll. I mean, how beneficial was that to the offense, you know, being able to create some some easy looks in the half court and that kind of opening other things up for you guys? Yeah, Kai did a great job. I mean, there's times where, you know, you have to kind of short roll and be a playmaker. Um, and he did that a couple of possessions. Um, I think he had one assist and then and then certainly his rolls all the way to the rim where he can get behind. Uh, the defensive coverage, he did a great job of that. Um, I mean, basically, you know, flawless offensive game. I mean, it's hard to go eight to ten. Um, and he's, you know, he's a physical player. So there's, you know, probably his two misses. It was some, there was some contact because because he does do a good job of of playing through contact. But uh, um, he's he's played his best. You know, you look at his two year career at Arkansas. He's he's for sure played his you know his best basketball. Um, you know, down the stretch of this season. I mean, he's he's had some great, great games for us. Five assists. Is that, you know, was was that playmaking maybe something you saw in the scouting report? He could be more of a facilitator tonight or just feel for the game and him making plays out, 
up there? Yeah, I mean, we're running him at a little bit more uh, PG. We're playing him more at some point. L's been off the ball at times when, when they're both in the game. And, um, you know, I think that, you know, T Mark's development is, is um, you know, that's probably a position that he can evolve to. Um, you know, he's got advantages because he can see over the defense with his length and, and his size. And, and um, you know, so I thought he did a good job of, of taking what the defense gave him. He didn't force any shots. He only had eight field goals attempted, which is probably close to a season low. But um, but he, he did a great job with his decision-making tonight. We've talked a lot about KB scoring, but he had three blocks tonight. I'm wondering if that's something you've seen at all behind closed doors or if that maybe surprised you a little bit today, what he did uh, blocking shots today. I mean, I thought he did a good job pursuing balls, you know, um, but the 10 blocks is, you know, when you look at the game and, and um, you know, it's, it's 10 to zero in blocks in an SEC game. That's, that's hard to do. And, and uh, we can, we can get better at that too. You know, I thought they had a couple layups where we, you know, didn't go vertical. Um, and so that's, you know, something we want to keep getting better, but I thought Davenport had, you know, I don't know if, you know, I knew that KB was going to block some shots and Davenport, you know, he's, JD's had a few of those this year where he's come from behind and and pursued balls. So, um, you know, defensively, we're doing better taking away the three. We're doing better guarding uh, star players. And, and um, you know, so I, I think we're improving. And KB was in here just a minute ago, and, and he made sure to remind us that he still has another year of eligibility. And he said, I'm a Razorback. Is, are those conversations you've already had with him about, you know, returning for next year? No, I mean, you know, I think uh, with all players, I mean, you play the season out and you and you, you see how it unwinds. So it, it, it would be unfair for me to speculate either way. Um, I do think he's really happy um, playing at Arkansas. We're happy with the way that he's progressed, the way that he's – evolved as the season's gone on um you know he's done a great job of buying in and i think that that's why you see the productivity continue to to improve and and um you know i mean he's like i said i know that he i know that he enjoys playing here and playing in that system but it's it's you know whenever he's you know makes a decision or whatever's you know on him yeah, Eric, you know, I know you've you've had some some good wins, obviously, but but some tough losses in here. But tonight, senior night, you got payback against a team that beat you pretty good in Baton Rouge. How good was it to win on senior night? Because that ceremony probably would have been a a drag if you had one at the end after the game. Just how good is it to win on senior night and then get some payback? Yeah, I mean, I think you're right. Like it's probably hard to go out there and take picture smiling if you're a competitor. So you you know you want to win on. Um, you know, but I, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm happy that the team played well in Bud Walton. Um, you know, we didn't play well last game. Uh, I mentioned the eight and a half minutes that we didn't play well. We fought, we got down and uh, we scrapped and had a chance to tie it. Um, and, you know, I mean, you look at the five years, I mean, this is, this is the one year that we haven't, we haven't played up to, up to the way that we would like at home. You know, this, this team has done an incredible job on the road, although, wins might not be there the competitive nature on the road of late has been great and um you know we'll, we'll see what happens we're going to play a team that's you know the best offensive team in in uh in the country a team that uh, we know will be ready to play it's it's uh you know you never want to walk in and play a team after after they've lost especially a team that has a chance to to play for a national championship like like alabama does um so we just got to regroup, you know, a lot of guys played a lot of minutes, got to get them fresh and, and ready to play on an early, here we go again, the opponent played on Tuesday, we played on Wednesday, and now uh, we have a, a tip off before you can eat a bagel, so. Well, Mike, allude to your record, and I guess what maybe you call them payback games, uh, obviously playing at home helps, but I, well, why do you think you have such a good record in in, the, in that scenario? I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think uh, I do think, you know, when you uh, when you coach at the pro level, I do think that adjustments are a big part of playoff series. And and um, you know, I mean, we didn't play the way we did last time against LSU because we changed who we're playing. We changed our defensive scheme on. On a guy that killed us in Baker, um, 
I, you know, I think anytime you play a team the second time, you've got to give them a different look. You can't give them a steady diet, but maybe I, I didn't know the stat till Mike read it. Maybe it's just luck too. That you know, when you were at LSU as an assistant, you want you never lost an LSU Arkansas. You never been on the losing end of an Arkansas LSU game in this building. Just if you had a thought on that, I, and I was hoping to ask somebody. I remember that game well. <laughs> Hornsby. <laughs> What, what, what do you think about that? You, you always win when you're. Probably need to play him more, I guess. Eh? Yeah, Eric, you mentioned Davenport a couple of times already. I wonder if you could maybe expand on his defensive efforts and rebounding tonight and just, I guess, on a human level, just what he's been like to coach. He seems like he's never short on energy and joy, I guess. Yeah, I would say. Um, you know, the JD is, is, uh, you know, you always want a spirit in practice and you always want a spirit about you in games. And he has a, um, he has a really like, like a positive uplifting spirit, you know, like, um, personally, when I go down to coach practice, I'm looking forward to coaching JD cause he brings energy and he brings enthusiasm, um, even when he's not playing well, he's, 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 he has a, a, a great disposition about himself. Um, and, and I think the greatest compliment that a coach can say about a player is that you love going down on the floor and coaching somebody. And that's how I feel about him. Um, you know, I, I'm not taking a deep breath, you know, walking down, coaching him. I'm, I'm energetic and, 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 and a magnet to go coach him, even pre-practice. I like walking to his basket. Um, because of his disposition and then rebounding wise, he's, he's had some really, really big offensive rebounds. I mean, we talk about trying to rebound, uh, through the elbows, um, kind of an NBA, uh, term because of there's a lot of rebounds that happen through there. And he's been the one guy that's bought in to rebounding through the, through the elbows. And I, I think it's really helped us and, and, um, he plays super hard, you know, and, and he hadn't shot the ball as well as, as he has in the past and he hadn't shot his the ball as well as maybe I thought he would, but he, he knocked down some big shots at, at Kentucky and tonight his one of three will take that percentage. And, and uh, we've given him the green light because we know what he's done in, in, in his past. Yeah. Big free throw rebounds. Uh, I guess KB was in here talking about the connected of, of the team doesn't really match the record. I guess from your perspective, how have you seen that develop throughout the season? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been, uh, you know, like, I mean, when when we coach him, you know, and, and I, I'll i say it and then, you know, people will say, well, what do you mean? I mean, we've had, we've had good practices. I mean, we really have. We've had some uh, bad moments in games. Um, the Vanderbilt eight-minute stretch, bad. We played bad, you know, but um, our practices and, and, and fortunately the, the, you know, the TV crews get to watch those practices. Um, this team works, man. And, uh, and I like coaching them. Wish the record was better. Um, we, you know, we had some games where the score got away from us and, and we didn't probably compete like, like we hope, uh, but the teams it's, we're getting better. You know, I don't know how – I don't know what's going to happen in, in the SEC tournament. I don't know what's going to happen. We have two games guaranteed right now. And um, I know I'm looking forward to, to coaching them, you know, Thursday, Friday, and going in that locker room and, and heading out on the floor in Alabama with this team. And, and I think that – I think this team is, 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 is continuing to gain respect amongst other teams in our league. I mean, I've, I get texts from other coaches and – and and people around the league that um, you know we're we're playing better basketball, and it's hard to do when when uh, you know you're you're sitting around five hundred or whatever. Quick, uh, LSU entered the bone in the second half, uh, pretty early. Was there any adjustment made? I guess. Yeah, just we talked in the in the huddle. Uh, I don't know if you're referring to that we stopped following later or yeah. Yeah, we uh, look. We're, we're we're trying to be aggressive. We're trying to be aggressive to take away threes. We're trying to be aggressive, creating more steals. You know, some of the questions that were asked 
you know, earlier in the year is why not more steals or some of the things that we're talking about in the meeting. Why not more steals? Why are we giving up so many threes? Well, those are, um, those are aggressive plays. And so you're going to follow when you're aggressive. And um, that's been the nature of our teams in the past. And, and this team is now catching up from an identity standpoint to play with more physicality. And then in the, in the huddle, once they got to the, to the bonus early, I mean, I just wrote on the board, defend without fouling, defend without fouling, show the refs your hands, go vertical, quit slapping at the ball, quit reaching. Um, you know, still can get better at it. though. Eric, like you said, this, you know, the record isn't what you hoped for, but Alabama is a big opportunity. They're ranked. You, you beat Duke, obviously, but you've had a lot, lot, played a lot of SEC teams that are ranked. It's a tough league, and you have been able to, to pull off some wins, even though you got close in some of those. Uh, how big an opportunity is it just to get to go to play at Alabama? It's ES, I know it's early, but it's ESPN, and um, you know they're a ranked team and everything. Yeah, I mean it, it's. Uh, I mean it's a yearly occurrence for us to go play at Alabama, um, so. We just go there, and, and uh, we know they're going to be ready to play. Uh, we know they'll have a great crowd. Uh, we know they're explosive in transition. We know they want to take a lot of threes and try to get to the rim and take as many layups. Um, you know, we know Sears and Estrada throw rifle passes with their left hand when they get in the lane to, to, for spit-out threes. Um, now we got to try to do everything we can to defend them will be, uh, you know, the biggest key because they do have great spacing and uh, they do share the ball and they have, uh, they will be ready just based on, you know, they, they've had some games, you know, where, where they've been close and could have won and didn't. And so uh, this is an opportunity for them to gain momentum going into the tournament. And it's, and it's, a, it's a way for us to continue to, to try to build our confidence going into uh, next Wednesday's game as well. Um, you, you played eight guys primarily, and I know I know KB and Devo have a year left, but it was you know guys that are seniors, older guys, four year, fifth year guys, whatever. Um, how how good did you like the rotation? And the seniors obviously did the bulk of the scoring, the rebound, and the assisting, you know, everything. It was it was a the senior was kind of the court night, obviously along along with with TB and Tremont. Yeah, I, um, you know I like our rotation, what we have going on right now. Sometimes, uh, you know, during the course of the season, you're tr constantly tinkering and. And um, if you pick up the box score from the last time we played LSU, it's, <laughs> it's a much different look than we were then. And I, I think we've settled in where guys are understanding uh, roles, expectations. And, and uh, you know, if, if, if a guy didn't play the minutes that, that you want or hope, you got to be ready when you, when you get called upon, um, especially knowing that, you know, we have a, we have a tournament coming up and, and the position that, we put ourselves in, in order to advance, you know, we're going to be, you know, we're going to be playing a game and then another game. And then you hope, I mean, who knows? Uh, so everybody's got to be ready to play. If in fact we play more than two games. Thanks.